Okay, so I'm going to upload the video that I'm going to be referencing, which is the fact that I looked out the kitchen window and saw the neighbor's dog in my yard. So obviously I went out there and there was a man um, over the back fence. Now this is the house that I haven't really known what's going on because it sounds and looks like a car meet next door. Um, I know there was the man who lived there with his son and the son's girlfriend and now there appears to be like multiple couples so this guy was um next door and i was like hey mate excuse me the dog's in the yard and he goes oh oh shit, yeah um tried and he, so it's like the corner side how do i make this make sense at the back fence so that one's been replaced so the the adjacent side fence between my house and the neighbor's house there's now a gap thankfully boss cannot fit um but this other dog obviously can um and he was like oh yeah no i'll um i'll find a lead and i'll come get him and i said well the dog's already here and they're having a ball and they're playing um can we just let them play for a bit and i'll use boss's lead and bring him back over he said the dog's not his but the people that it is that lot it belongs to obviously aren't home from work yet um so i let them play and they were having fun which is good and i felt really happy because i've obviously been feeling really guilty that i haven't walked boss uh because i'm not feeling 100 percent and I, I feel like I sound different, so I'm not sure if that's my imagination or not. Um, but where am I at? So yeah, let the, play, the, play, let the dogs play, and then I took the dogs back, the dog back. And the man was like, I'll take the dog into the yard with your lead and I'll give it back to you um, over the back fence. And I was like, yeah, that's cool. Um... And I don't know why I did this, especially considering what I've said in my videos. But I smoked that freaking last bit of the joint, right? And he is, he's like, oh, you, do you smoke? And I was like, oh, I quit like cigarette and ease vaping, um, well, 10 days ago, according to my app. Um, I was like, but I do vape weed i said and this is like the very last bit of a last joint that i've had i've got and i smoked it and it just proved to me or what i already knew which is that i don't like joints anymore um well at least in the situation of by myself they're just it's completely pointless um and then he followed up some of uh, <laughs> volunteered up some information um about the fact that he likes to smoke ice and i was like oh yeah cool um i mean i've been there i know what that's like um and then he you know explained his story to me um and basically i think well his motto in life i would is um as long as you've got control of the drug and the drug doesn't have control of you um and he asked me you know like how long's it been and i said it's been over five and a half years and he asked me if i missed it and i said no and he was really shocked and i said um i've been off it long enough to know that it's not something i ever want to do again um and i don't miss it in any sense um but i did you know for the last uh, for the first couple of years i would say um not oh, it's hard to explain like i missed it in the craving on my and dreaming about it all the time and the um yeah there's a lot of stuff behind that but anyway we talked and you know he said that he'd fix the whole events and i said you know i asked him what's going on over there i was like uh, i was like last i knew there was a man and his son and his son's girlfriend i was like are they still there and he's like no i'm like like it seems like there's a few people there. And he goes, um, yeah, they're like renting out the rooms. I said, who's renting them out? Is it Aaron? He goes, who's Aaron? I said, oh, the neighbor that used to be there. And yes, I have just realized I used the actual name, but there are like a billion people with that name. So, oh well, they don't live there anymore. 
and nobody on here knows where I live, so it's all good, but yeah, my bad. Um, moving on, the actual owner of the house is renting out the rooms, which explains why there appear to be so many more people there and all these cars out the front. Um, I did say to this guy that I spoke to, if you want to let the owners of the dog know, like, um, if they're at work all the time and, and you're here, like if the dogs could play, you know, that, that would work for me because I can't walk my dog. <laughs> oh, it's ridiculous, but it's so true. Um, and I've realised that when I say shit like that, it just must sound so fucking condescending to the next person who's not able to walk their dog. So I apologise for that because it's a fact. And I have to stop doing shit like that. And I've become very aware of it making these videos. Um, but yeah, anyway, the reason I'm making this video and the point of my story, which I'm now realising I'm at six minutes in, um, is that he ended the conversation with, because um, I said to him, you know, um, if I see you out, I'll come say hello. And he's like, yeah, that'll be good. I'm always out and about um, in the backyard. And then he ended the conversation with, um, oh, sometime we'll get together and we'll have a puff. And then he said, you have yours, wait, and I'll have mine, ice. And I didn't say anything. I just sort of smiled and was like, you know, I'll see you next time I see you. Um, but yeah, I know it's weird because I imagine so many people would think that was really crazy. And I'm definitely going, interesting, that you would think that I'd want to be around it after the fact that I haven't been near it in five and a half years. Um, but on that point, it's sort of like he also took me at face value, which is that I have zero interest in it. And I actually have been around it since I quit. This was way back in the beginning, first Mr. X um, and then other people, uh, which I'd already quit by then, so I didn't want. And must admit, considering the very, very short period of time that all happened in, um, yeah, I, I knew I needed, obviously, to get off it. Um, but I just think it was an interesting experience. Um, I think today has been interesting all round. I feel like the universe is very clearly telling me that it's got my back. Um, like I was literally telling Randy on a video call this morning that I haven't spoken to anyone in person in 14 days. And then within minutes, the neighbor across the road was like, are you up for a chat? Um, and then, you know, I was feeling guilty about my dog and the next thing I know, there's another dog in my yard and boss is having a ball. Um, and yeah, I just, I feel good. I feel good emotionally and mentally. Um, um, obviously those two are a bit all over the place right now, but at the moment I'm feeling pretty good. Um, I'm very happy that I'm starting to replace the bad images in my mind with the good images of my medication, which is why it's prescribed to me. So today when the book upset me, because it was just like I felt like I've been cheated in life, like how do I have this amount of mental illnesses and have been in therapy for this long and nobody's noticed until now that I'm like suffering from like my, like, oh, it just makes me sad. But I'm trying really hard to focus on the fact that at least I know. I mean, yeah, sure, I'm closer to 40 than I am 30, but hey, at least I know. So I'm really praying that this book helps me and I think that's where I'm gonna end this because my throat is hurting and I feel like I'm losing my voice <laughs> so um, sending love to everyone just remember you're not alone sometimes you you might think you are but there are people like me out here going you're not alone you're wanted and needed and worthy and loved <laughs>